holy. Be Holy is a broadcast ministry of believers dedicated to saving the souls of all men and women. We teach the words of God that people all over the world may hear the voice of God and obey Him. God doesn't want to show us His wrath or His anger. He just wants us to repent and be holy. And after one repents, he or she can be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. But certainly not before they repent. Listen, we really can't even discuss prayer until one repents. Yes, hell is making its way towards the unrepentant heart. But it is Be Holy's commandment and mission to warn everybody. Not to control, to warn. The Word of God is spirit and it's life. That's why we take the Word of God seriously. We're not using shameful deeds and underhanded methods. We're not trying to trick anyone or... Or change the word of God. We tell the truth before God and all those who are honest and live by truth. They know the truth. They realize that we are telling the truth. Listen, friend, we've been preaching and teaching for over 20 plus years and the Lord Jesus is satisfied with our efforts and we want to keep it that way. Next on Be Holy. Well, come close to God and he will come close to you. Be Holy. All right, listen, we want to welcome everybody back to Be Holy. We're glad that you're with us on today. Today is a wonderful, splendid wonderful day and i think you are wonderful splendid people (laughs) it's a great day isn't it hey get out there and be good to somebody make be good to yourself primarily but also be good to someone else treat them good make them feel good give give somebody else a good day you know you shouldn't be the only one having a good day (laughs) let other people have a good day be that person be that person you want change be change if you want you want people to be happy you be happy you want people to be friendly you be friendly yeah that's changing the world let's just change it you know at least if we can't change the uh the so-called world in itself we can change the people in it you know that's the one part of the world that can change is people and so if you would just go ahead and try to make somebody else happy besides making yourself happy because the only way you'll you'll know that you can make someone else happy is to make yourself happy uh make someone else happy try that thing try the thing people need to see that in times like these with all this trouble going on and all these things going on in life and everybody's got a different life to deal with and different troubles to deal with make somebody happy that's all you have to do is make somebody happy smile that does a lot just just even if you don't say anything just smile and and uh, move forward. Even if things are bothering you, still smile and keep moving forward. And like I told you, when you're negative, you push away all that good stuff that's coming to you. So put on a smile and a, put on a good heart and a, a happy face and let's move forward. Have a good have a good mind. You know, people already are complex and, and perplexed in their mind. And so they don't need us who know better. Us who are people. Us to give them something else to think about that's bad or something else to work against them or something else to push them away from God. Hey, just be happy and do something good for somebody. Because listen, everybody can use a little bit of good nowadays. Everybody can. Everybody can. Even you, even me, and even the people that don't know you or me. They can use it. And even the people who know you, they can use some happiness in their life. A lot of times we're trying to go around changing the world preaching the gospel right we're trying to go around preaching the gospel but we're not we're not really thinking about you can start by smiling at people or talking to people you know act like you're interested at least you know i'm I'm one of the biggest ones uh, guilty of that a lot of times i'm trying to you know keep it up keep the spirits up and keep moving and sometimes somebody will do one thing and they just try to pull me down but i gotta pull myself back up and so, uh, you know, after a while, after a while, people keep telling you things or saying things or doing things to you, trying to pull you down. You try to avoid talking to those people. <laughs> you just do. I don't know why I, I, I'm guilty of it. But listen, I'm going to try to make change somewhere. If they're bringing me bad news, I'm going to try to turn that bad news around to good news or another way to look at it. Look at it a different way. You don't know what you're doing when you're helping people with that. You have no idea. They're already having in their mind, oh, this is going bad. That's going bad. This is going bad. And then you say the magic words. "Mm -mm, It could be worse. Yeah. When you tell them it could be worse, then they wake up. Oh, yeah, it could be. Somebody's having it worse than you. Yeah, that's true. So, hey, have somebody uh, uh, having a good day. Do something, you know, share some water, some mints or some candy, some licorice or something. I don't know. Whatever it is that you do. Do something to make people happy. Do 
something to make people, and people will do the same thing to you. You're you're giving out the happiness, and people will turn around. Not the same people. It might be the same people, but people will turn around and give you some of that happiness. That's what they do. So today, we are talking about coming close to God and God coming close to us. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, we got to come close to the Lord, man. Like I told you last week, it's time to come on back. It's time to stop all that foolishness. We haven't been out there long enough. It's time to come on home. It's time to come on back to Jesus. Come on back. Ain't no need in fighting with it. You know, you, he didn't let you get out there. He didn't have mercy on you. He didn't have mercy on me too. All of us. He had mercy on all of us. So it's time to come on back. And so what we're talking about today, you, you coming close to Jesus or I'm coming close to Jesus and Jesus coming close to us. So we draw near to him. He draws near to us. All right, uh, James 4, James chapter 4, verse number 7. So humble yourselves before God. Now, that, well, that'd be wonderful if we would just do that. Humble yourselves before God. Stop thinking you know everything. Stop thinking you know what even God said. Stop thinking you know all that. Stop thinking that, you, that you've that uh, you memorized the Bible or that you know what it's like or what you need for salvation. And that, mm -mm, let God give it to you. Don't sit there thinking you know it all. Humble yourself before God. You not only God has the word. You don't have it. I don't have it. God's word. God's word is the one that we pray for to expand fast. Uh, for God's word to to spread abroad fast and quickly. You know, his, it's His word, not our word. So we're going to humble ourselves before Him. Right? We go by what He says, not by what we know. We go by what He says. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Hmm. Humble yourself before God. And then when the devil shows up, resist him and he'll flee from you. Now, he might try to go get some others to try to get you. You know, he resists you or you resist him and he runs away. Right. And so uh, he might go get a few others. Or them evil spirits trying to trying to trying to take you over, trying to pull you down. Hmm. He says, what? Resist the devil. And he will flee from no matter what he tries to throw at you. Resist the devil and he will what? Flee from you. Humble yourselves before God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. Here's number eight. Verse number eight. Come close to God. Mm -hmm, and God will come close to you. Huh. So if we come close to God, he will come close to us. So if we read that in reverse, when we step away from God, hmm, God steps away from us. And be things that we don't even think about. We're, you know, we're thinking everything's okay. I'm going to church every Sunday, you know, but you still can be stepping away from him. You know, your church can be stepping away from him. You never know. You step away from God. God steps away from you. That's why we try to step uh, close to God with our families so God will come close to our families you know we want God in our family we want him in it we want to teach the people about God and we want to let them know what we know about God or what we think we know about God and let God be the one to prove everything right so humble yourself before God and resist the devil and he will flee from you come close to God and God will come close to you Wash your hands, sinners. Wash it. Just wash your hands. Whatever devilment you've been doing, wash your hands from it. In other words, step away from that. Wash your hands of it. Mm -hmm. Purify your hearts. For your loyalty is divided between God and the world. That's that. That's something that's real. That That is real. A lot of times. We get so caught up in things being so bad or being so good that we want this, we want that, we want this, that, and the other. And we forgot that we wanted God in the beginning. And so we begin to take a couple steps back. Then God takes a couple steps back. Well, draw close to God and God will draw close to you. You come close to him, he will come close to you. Wash your, wash your hands and, and get rid of your sin. It don't mean that God going to get rid of your sin. He already got rid of your sin. You just stop doing it. You see, you just stop doing it. We just all of us, me, you, all of us. We just stop doing it. We wash our hands and purify your hearts. For your loyalty is divided between God and the world. 
Mm. God said, don't love the world and nothing it offers you. Yet and still we get caught up in the world all the time. You know, uh, we get caught up in social media. We get caught up in sin itself. We get caught up in what we watch, with what we what we look at, what we mimic, and what we sing, what we listen to on the radio. I mean, it's so many things that we do and we don't even really pay attention to it. We are really stepping back. You know, it only takes a year. You know, you take a year and you start stepping back and you see just how far away from God you are. You take a step here, a step there, a step here, a step there. God takes a step takes a step here, takes a step there, here and there away from us. And we end up, man, we all we need to come back to the altar, get back to God. Like I've been telling you, we got to get back to God. Come on. We've been out there long enough doing foolishness. Humble yourself before God resist the devil. He'll flee from you. Come close to God and he'll come close to you. Wash your hands, sinners. Purify your hearts for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. Hmm. Verse number nine, let there be tears for what you've done. Let there be sorrow and deep grief. I'm talking about repentance and, and stepping away and, and you, you're not just stepping away from sin because I told you to or because you read it in the Bible. Said, no, let there be grief when you're doing that. Let there be sadness instead of laughter and gloom instead of joy. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up in honor. A lot of us want honor from other people. But God says he will lift us up in honor. Come close to God, man. It's time to get close. Time to step away from that foolishness that we've been doing. It's time to come on back to the Lord and do what's, what's right and, and, and let him lead us and guide us like he intended. You know, a lot of times we want to do it our way, but we can't do it our way. It says here, if you come close to him, he'll come close to you. You know, we can sit there and say, oh, I, I did this to get close to God. I did that. Mm -mm. You have to come close to him and then he'll come close to you. He'll let you know what you need to do. And a lot of times he's already told you what you needed to do. We just haven't done it. We figure we have more time. That's what we figure. We, oh, I have time and oh, I can do that later. I don't, there's no rush. You know, that's how we think. And that's foolish thinking because we should never take time for granted. Time can be here today, gone today, here today, gone today, you know, and so come close to God and he will come close to you. Wash away your sins, wash your hands and purify your hearts and go see God. Thanks for listening to Be Holy with your host, Leonardo Butler. Our Be Holy podcast is at Podbean or contact us at BeHoly116 at gmail.com or 614 614- Two six eight seven seven five seven. Thanks for listening to Be Holy with your host, Leonardo Butler. And for your convenience, you can now text the word GIFT to 614-363-6133. Again, the word GIFT to 614-363-6133. And we thank you for your support. Be Holy.